Hello everybody, it's Beard Boy OG here, and welcome back to Modded and Survival. Okay folks, we might have a little bit of a problem. What is that problem, you may ask? Well, we really don't have much in terms of food. Yes, I can break all those, and yeah, it's not going to be much. Also, we have no way of getting XP, and we, have, we don't really have many farms at all. Uh, for... What is the word? Bone meal. Yeah, there's a way to get bone meal, but we we don't have that. So today, we're going to be working on three farms. What are those farms going to be? Well, this farm will be a food farm with chorus fruit. The second is going to be a farm based off the plants in the top region up there. But we want to grow the end lotus flowers, but we also want these end lotus flowers leaves why well this is gonna be our source of paper but our last farm i can't really go and show you it because there's no platform for it yet that is gonna be a enderman farm an ender ender but don't you need leaves and all this like don't you need a lot of advanced game tech to even get that yes so we're gonna make basically a basic ender ender so instead of your traditional where you have to have stuff like uh, a minecart with a endermite in it we are going to build one that is extremely basic it is kind of you could say the lazy way of doing it so we want to go and build a massive platform have a little safe spot in the middle where endermen can't spawn in there but have it be opened so let's say it's one two three so this kind of area, me sit in the middle, they can't reach me, but I can reach them. And all we have to do is look at them. So that is basically what it's going to be, and then there's going to be chests in the middle, and then if we have a source of iron, that's going to be replaced for hoppers, and then chests around it. So, that is what we're doing in today's episode. Let's begin with the chorus fruit farm. Oh boy, this is such a satisfying sound. Oh ho. You gotta love that. You've got to love how satisfying it is to break those. Can I ask you a favor? Could you consider subscribing? It would help me out graciously if you could press that red button down below. And consider liking the video, because liking always helps. I think over here actually is the best. We're going to have to completely tear this apart. And we can make this the end core fruit farm area. Okay, now I'm going to clear this area out like so. And we're going to start getting this sucker built. Okay, I got the area kind of removed here uh, of all these plants. And I'm going to mine all of this in this area here. All of this end stone uh, dust. Mainly so I can fill it in with regular end stone. Then we can have this be like a giant area for the farm. Okay, now that we have the area kind of defined, now we can just easily just walk around, mine out these spots, pick up the instone back. Why? Well, they only grow on the instone, not the moss, so ooh, if we can actually do the right plant, there we go. One there, we'll put one there, we'll kind of space them out so it's a little easy, like so, and then... We should have a decent supply of these growing. Now I'm going to try to keep them within reach of each other here so like that so i'm going to keep doing this and oh they're already growing so this shouldn't take too long and this should be a decent farm for us okay now that we have the farm area kind of figured out i'm just going to go and spread these around i'm going to kind of do it loosely a little bit before we go and fully fill it in like this because this is the end we could make it a look a little bit like it's kind of in a wreck just to give us like a little taste onto how this is gonna look okay so we have a couple of pathways through here we have this door here that leads out to this area which I think we might have the Enderman's uh, spawning platform ender ender thing somewhere in this direction maybe over here because this is kind of like the cobbled not cobblestone end stone mine I've been using so I wanted to have a good way over to here and then a way over here that leads to the door itself but right now the farm is looking great now folks I want to decorate this place a bit so what I'm gonna do 
Now, you guys didn't actually notice it, but I have a water bucket. Why? Well, if we go to water, but or just bucket itself, we don't need to do water. There we go. If you look here and we click on it, we can use Asmium to make it. So, I was able to go get a bucket, some water, and what I'm going to do is make a little bit of a pond in here. So it looks a little nicer. Plus, I want to have a little pathway around it, so I'm just going to figure out the shape. And then, we're going to fill this sucker up. Maybe even get some fish in here. Okay, I'm now filling this puppy in with water from an infinite water source. And the goal is to be able to remove this kind of like middle layer of sand I have here and make it just fully flat. That way, we don't have too many problems with the water, because I always have problems trying to straighten out the water. Oh, it can be some of the most dreaded tasks. Just trying to make it look like it's good. Like, right here. So, oh, fishy, my fishy. There we go. Hey, you went from blue to purple. Bloop. And a jellyfish. Look at that. But look at that. We have our own little area, and he's going to hurt me from there. Oh, this guy doesn't hurt. Okay. Are you sure about that? I was wrong. I was in peaceful. He does hurt. Now I'm going to go and make some rocks. Okay, now that we have that part built, I want to try something. Can we make... What is it? Uh, where is it? Does it show up? Uh, compost... Uh, a composer. There we go. So we just need a little bit of these guys. Then we can... Bam. Now, why do I have this? Well, I want to see if we can get some bone meal. Okay, so this plant we can't do. What about this plant? No. Sadly, we're going to have to hunt the fish down. Because they can be composited. Not any of the plants, so I'm gonna be hunting for a little bit. Okay, I'm back. Let's see if we can do okay, so no gelatin, but we can go and fill the sucker up with fish. Okay, still can't do that, sadly. But the more fish or uh farms we make that can be composited, the better. Sadly, right now, that is as much as I'm going to do, but that at least tells us that fish is a good spot for that. Nah, I'm not going to do it to them yet. No, I'm joking. All right, folks, we have the completely finished farm design. And it's going to be shown in a three, a two, a one. Oh, look at this. I like it. So we had this sandy jade stone that I wanted to use, and it's like, oh... For the end, this can work as a roadblock kind of dealio. As we come through here, we have all of our chorus fruit that we can farm, easily be able to walk around. We have a couple of decorative rocks, and then, oh, the pond's coming together. I want to get some bone meal here in the future, and bone meal here and bone meal this area, so it's a little bit more bright and cheerful. But for right now... This looks really good. Now, it's time to start our second farm, which is going to be up there. Okay, to get up here so we can build this farm, because we're going to build it up there at that lake area, we're going to need to build up there, and I want to do a stair design. Um, I think what I'm going to do is a wooden stair design. It's going to be pretty basic for the most part. Uh, so we're going to mine down. Let's grab this area here. Let's steal this wood. What we'll do is planks going up, and I'm going to see if I can do some supports to make it look like they're either being held up by, like, the ledge area, or if they're, like, being stilted up. Okay, I'm going to get started building the stair up to there. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, with the stairway down done, I haven't done the just decor decorative kind of, like, placements to make it look like it's chained up, but I have done a little idea of building... Ooh, almost fell off. Building into the island like it used to be here even more, and it's kind of like been overgrown and destroyed over time. That's the way I thought of it. Come on, I didn't even look at you. Where is he? There he is. 
Come on. Let's get this over with. Even though I didn't mess with you at all. Yes, I know you're angry. Sorry. This, the customer service is currently, uh... Currently down. Oh, here he is. I think you're under Pearl, though. Uh, so the entire plan with the farm here, which is where I was going to go to before you got extremely angry, is that we're going to build out to here. We're going to have a bunch of these plants lining up here and here. And then the other side of this one, I'm only going to do two for now. I don't think we need to do too much bigger. Especially since we don't have really that much more and, uh, uh, Grove slabs here. We're starting to run out. I could make more, but I'm running out of my tools. I did see there was some Thasmium down there, so I'll grab that outside of this. So once I'm done placing these, we'll start placing all the seeds, which I'm going to harvest this like entire area to do that. Okay, folks, I have the seeds. Platforms are ready. I am just going to go and find spots. I'm going to go two over, and we're just going to randomly place where we can up to, like, here. I think that should work. Also, some more Thasmium. I'll grab that as I go if I see it. And then middle here as well, so we can do, like, okay, let's remove you. Bam, bam. Just start spamming. There we go. Now they'll start growing. We'll come back to it later after the Ender Ender is built. But this should be a decent start, and I'll fix any that are, like, kind of, like, growing onto the platform. Now, where were you? <laughs> hey. Okay, as so we head down here, we had these stems that we got from those uh, end lotuses. So I'm using them kind of like a temporary look for a beam or a way to, like, basically attach them so it makes it look like it's not like floating in midair if i can in the future if we can get some iron i'm going to replace these with some uh chain uh iron chains but for now they can work then the bottom one down here kind of makes it looks like it's supporting the bottom so i'm fine for uh with it for now but that's an update on that and then this is how that looks it's not bad not bad I think in the future I might terraform into it and make the place kind of look like it's in a mountain, but that that's too far in the future. I'm smelting more of this Thasmium that I found, so we have another pickaxe. Why? Well, I'm going to get a bunch of endstone, and we're going to make the ender ender so we can complete today's episode. And I'm still trying to figure out where I'm going to put it. I want it to definitely be close to the home. Every... Ooh. I hate these so much. They work, but they're like, they work scarily. Okay, there we go. So I am trying to figure out where to place it. I haven't really explored all the way over to here. Would it be good to... Yeah. This is like some good open area that we can mine too. So I, I think maybe a 12 by 12 area might be fine or 15 by 15. Remember, we still got to make sure that we have that basic, like, spot where we can sit in the middle and then the chest area around it. I want to make it a big area so we can get a lot of them. So I need to get, like, my goal is to fill at least half of this with end stone. So I'm going to be mining for quite a bit. Okay. So we have a little mini platform here. So this is where the walkway is going to be. We'll make a little, like, two by two in terms of, you know, one two block platform where they can't get in but we're safe walking over uh but then so ooh, i don't want to walk off so you see that little three block area there that's going to be the edge of this little island here and we have to go six more blocks to the middle from here so this would so it's gonna be seven okay now i'm standing in the middle so this is the full so basically we're standing in the eighth block now I'm going to go around seven more on each side from this block. So, 
this will take me a little bit basically i'm trying to make a big square area and then have, make sure we have room for a nine by nine area okay we have the seven by seven area now it's time to fully fill it in Okay, folks, we have <laughs> the entryway over. This will ensure we're safe, but this is a spot where we're going to have to be careful, so we'll put that there. We're going to need to get another one of these, so I'll be right back. Okay, now that we're back, it's time to start building this area out a bit. I'm fine if this falls. We can always get the end stone back. So what I'm going to do, basically start putting chests down, mainly for storage purposes. And we're going to have these going all around this main circle area, mainly because, yeah, <laughs> we won't fall. And it should give a, uh, be a good little storage spot from these endy boys. I really, really do not want to die to them. So we're going to take every precaution we can when building this farm. Okay, now that we have our chests down, I'm gonna take this part out. So what I'm gonna do is put these too high on each one, because I'm pretty sure once they're too high, they cannot get themselves in. Plus these blocks are gonna be preoccupied, so they're not gonna be able to spawn on them, like so. And then we're gonna have little guardrails. So we want to have the guardrail not be on that one. Bang. And now we're going to craft ourselves a couple bits of some stairs. I'm just going to go right on top here. There we go. A little bit of a hidey hole area. And let's take our last one. I don't care about the floor there. There we go. Now is this safe? Will this work? Right in the middle. Yeah, it seems like it's working extremely well. And we should have them spawn our little area here. By that, this main area. They can't attack me, but I can attack them. Now, it is going to be a little grindy because <laughs> we really don't have a consistent way of getting them, like, regularly. If you... But yeah, this is working fine. Now, yes, it's a little bit grindy. But we are taking advantage of the fact that they can easily be taken advantage of here. Okay, folks. The farm's working. <laughs> I can't believe we got all three of, these, three of these done in today's episode. So now, it's time to end today's episode. If you guys enjoyed today's episode, consider subscribing. Because we're on the goal to 1,000 subscribers by the end of 2023. Yes, next year. Consider liking the video, because liking the video lets the algorithm know this video is pretty good. And comment down below how you thought of this of today's episode. I've been Beard Boy OG, and I'll see you guys in episode three.